Hi and welcome to Cheeky Witcher Cooking's Snowballs. Four ingredients, gluten-free, grain-free, no added fat, absolutely delicious. We have got a quarter of a cup of almonds, which is about 50 grams of almonds, and we're just going to blitz those into almond meal and tip them into one egg white. So just blitz this right up. We're just using a little magic bullet here. You could use any little uh, spice grinder or you could even use the almond meal if you like that you buy from the supermarket. Okay, that's about fine enough. Tip that into our egg white. Now it's the hazelnut's turn again. Quarter of a cup or 50 grams. Do the same thing with those. Okay, I like to leave a little bit of uh, crunch in those ones. You can do it right down to a really fine meal if you like. And then we're going to add enough icing sugar to bind this into a quite a stiff paste. Leave a little bit of icing sugar. There's 90 grams there, or about three quarters of a cup. And we're going to roll this into the leftover icing sugar. So make little golf balls with that. Just mix that all around. Children can do this if you're using almond meal. It's so easy. There's no cooking involved in making it. You've just got to roll it into balls and then bake it. It doesn't make a particularly big batch, but it's gluten-free. And if you have some gluten-free friends, it's a great gift for them. You can see it's just starting to come together now. I've been having a major baking morning this morning. I've made almond bread and fruit bread. Started my Christmas puddings. My date bubble bars are ready and my rocky road. I'm gonna have a well-deserved rest this afternoon. All those recipes, of course, are available on our Cheeky Witcher channel. We've been giving you Christmas recipes mm, for years now. You can see this has gone into quite a, a puggy little paste. I should not be using all that icing sugar, I'd say. Just depends on how moist your nuts are. Okay, pretty happy with that. Now we just roll them into little balls and drop them into icing sugar. Now this is the little scales that I've showed you in a different video. You can measure in it, you can bake in it, and then you can just take it out. There you go, take it out and wash it. Little round balls onto a baking tray. We're just going to bake those for about 10 or 15 minutes till they're nice and golden and puffed. They're actually going to sort of crackle a little bit because of the design of them. Okay, just grab a small ball of them and just drop them into your icing sugar mixture or confectioner's sugar. And then you'll be able to pick them up and roll them in a ball with the icing sugar. So just give them a bit of a dust around there. There you have it. Now they're quite sweet, great with coffee obviously. Make sure you've got plenty of sugar on them. You can also dust them in sugar when you're finished and continue with the rest. These are great if you have unexpected guests at Christmas time and you haven't got them a gift and they turn up with a box of chocolates or something. You can have these in a little cellophane bag with just a gift card saying for you or something on it. Perhaps with a uh, description of what's in it just in case they have dietary issues. They're great for kids to take to school for their teachers and whatnot. They can have them with coffee. And how simple are they to make? We're talking seconds here. They have it 16 of the little snowballs ready to go into the oven when they're puffed up and crackled a little bit on the outside they'll be ready to take out we're going to cook those for 10 minutes 160 degrees celsius fan forced and when they are crackled a little bit on the top and puffed and golden and quite crispy we're going to remove them cool them and keep them in an airtight container pop a couple into a cellophane bag with a twist tie and a pretty ribbon with a gift tag on it or just take them to work very simple to make great for the kids and it makes 16 biscuits you can make them bigger or you can make them small it's up to you into the oven we go okay hot from the oven check out our little snowballs they've cracked and spread and got themselves all interesting in shape they really do look like a dirty snowball don't they okay dust them with some extra icing sugar when they're cool if you like cool them completely and pop them into an airtight jar and they will last for ages I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Chigi Richo cookings a lot they are they really are gorgeous if you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas just check out our chicken richard cooking channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon we've got so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos we have a whole christmas playlist from christmas puddings to biscuits to slices too many to name go check it out you won't have to look anywhere else for a fantastic christmas spread this holiday season thanks for watching and there you have a Cheeky Richo cooking snowballs. Just a couple of ingredients, really easy to make. Cook them in 10 minutes, they're nice and light and crispy. And this is what they look like. They're absolutely divine. Thanks for watching. Have a Merry Christmas. Mmm. They're crispy on the outside, sort of chewy in the centre. <laughs> Yummo. You can't even taste that there's no flour on there. It's really, really nice and light. Great with coffee, or nice coffee, hot chocolate, eggnog. You know what to do. Thanks for watching.